Hello and a wonderful good afternoon to you. It's been a great event so far. And what I'm going to do is to talk about a symphony of AI, how we would like AI to go towards a future which is more responsible. We utilize the benefits in a better manner. I've been at UC for 18 years now, and uh, these ideas have grown with me over the past uh, period of time where I'm here. I teach classes, I've got several of my students here who have uh, been part of my journey into AI. So what is AI? It emulates human intelligence. That was the purpose. When Alan Turing came up with the Turing test in the 1950s, he talked about not knowing the difference between a computer and a human. And the capabilities we're looking at is learning, problem solving, decision making. AI promises these advanced capabilities of human mimicry. Now, looking forward, the question is where do we go from here? There is this concept called artificial general intelligence, or AGI, which learns, applies across a wide range of tasks. Basically, large language models on steroids. Okay, not just narrow specific domains. And the purpose of my talk here today is to present an approach to AI reflecting on the way this path towards AGI and people's expectations. Oh, everything's gonna be solved in a few years and so on. And we suggest a path which is effective, but at the same time, trustworthy, responsible, and ethical. These are three attributes which we need to take into consideration as we move towards a better future and we leave a legacy for our children, our grandchildren, and for future generations, which is positive. So the do's, what are we looking for which is positive in the future of AI, right? We're looking for new opportunities and efficiencies. Let us save money, okay? Let us get better performance, let us do all these awesome things. Now, at the same time, what are the don'ts? The don'ts are, hey, don't cause any harm. Avoid unsafe outcomes, right? Do not abuse privacy. Do not cheat. Do not lie. Do not come up with fake stuff. Do not infringe on people's po uh, copyrights. Just because you want to train a system, right? Do not do anything unethical or biased. These are don'ts. We need to find the balance. And what are we seeking is to harness this awesome potential that's out there. But on the same time, we do not want to compromise human dignity, human rights, or human safety. So, the approach to trustworthy AI, what are we looking for? What are the attributes we're looking for? Now, when you don't know something or you hide behind the shroud of, of darkness, of opacity, saying, hey, I didn't know, then you can hide unethical behavior. Whereas, if you're transparent, if you're accountable, if you take full responsibility for all your actions, okay, you understand your decisions, you understand the cause and effect of what's happening, that explainability and transparency is what I want because then I can hold my AI accountable. Effective learning. I want to be able to learn in an effective manner. Now, it is something very important. What do we have happening? Where do we, how does AI learn? We take everything out there in history and throw it into an AI system. But let us look at our history. Are we proud of every moment in our history? Are there any injustices there we want to learn from? We want to learn to avoid them, yes. But how do we filter all of that out? We need to have that moral compass that tells us that not everything in the past was good to learn from. Who holds that? compass. How do we make sure that what is happening with the outcomes is not because of biased learning? Okay? So if, to be able to do that, we need something whereby information is mapped on in the best possible manner to any arbitrary degree of accuracy. We call that in the computer science world as uh, universal approximation. A large language model, a chat GPT is not one, to give you an idea. 
So having to build on that on steroids, to get something on steroids, which does not adhere to this principle. Now, President Reagan said, Dorve ye ni proveve. It's Russian, so my, forgive me for my pronunciation, but it means trust but verify. So you want to trust something? Verify. You want to trust AI today? How do you verify that? How do you test it? How do you make sure that the outcomes are what you want? They reflect the best in what we have in society. So that testing aspect, and let me tell you some of these outcomes of uh, recently of large language models with all the hallucinations, they have not been well tested. They come up with, uh, you know, fake stuff that cause problems. We need to do better. So the approach we have is explainable AI based on effective learning techniques, and I've been doing that for 31 years. So what I bring here is that body of knowledge, okay? And based on that now, I don't want to reflect so much on the past, but I want to base my knowledge of the past to project into a better future for all of us. So before going into what we can do, let's give a report card based on these features, based on these attributes I'm looking for, and take a look at your favorite large language model, perplexity, chat, GPT, deep seek, my name. Are they explainable or transparent? Niet, no. They're black boxes. Is the learning effective? Nope, because there is no supervision. Okay, we, we know, we've all been through school, we've been supervised, some better, some not so better, but you need some supervision. Even if it's semi-supervised with data, but you do need somebody to tell you this is right and that is wrong. That's supervision. But if you have nobody there and you don't have a moral compass, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get a lot of BS, and you know what that stands for, right? <laughs> Verification, validation, accreditation. What does that mean? It limits and calls out hallucinations. It calls out what is not okay for what is okay. And the bottom line is, while large language models do a lot of things, I use it sometimes, Okay, it can help my grammar, my mistakes. They are not to be trusted in health critical systems. Am I going to have my family travel on an airplane which has been certified or so-called validated by a large language model? Hell no. <laughs> I love them too much for that, okay? And that includes my mother-in-law, okay? <laughs> my wife's out here, so. We, Really, when it comes to healthcare, when it comes to diagnostics, when it comes to having to make sure that we've got it right, you cannot take chances with safety critical systems. We cannot take chances on self-driving cars. You can see the mess they're making. Self-driving cars today have a possibility of two to three times higher rate of accidents than human driving cars, okay? So what is, where am I going to? I've talked about the current situation, its projection, I'm saying, hey, we can do better, but what it is that we can do better. So you look at our society, it takes a village, you've heard that, it takes a village. We've got doctors, lawyers, scientists, and you see we have many different colleges, not just one college, right? And each one has a different expertise. Some people are good in certain areas, some people are better in other areas. What it takes to make a good surgeon who, or a good pilot who's got to make these split-second decisions when they're performing their art, their surgery, their piloting an airplane, are not the same as, say, somebody doing a diagnostic for a patient. There you set out, do a few tests, you get the results, you reflect, is this something I know? Do I want to rush to give a, a treatment unless I'm sure that the treatment would work. So the deliberation process is part of our decision making. It's a different type of expertise. It's somebody who needs to get there and do things right away. So having to have one learning system where I take all the knowledge and throw it into something and get something out, I can't verify that. So what do I envisage? We've been developing and my work is specific specialized expertise. So you have agents who do something very specific. We train them, we trust them, we give them something which is transparent and validated. They do an excellent job. So 
hallucination rates of ChatGPT, you ask Sam Altman, he'll say about 20, 30%. If it's a rag, that is, you know what you're giving into the system and it's just analyzing what is given, which is good data, you can bring your hallucination rate down to between two to 4%. In aerospace and healthcare, we're looking at 10 raised to minus eight, okay? Now we realize that one person cannot be the best in all these professions, right? There are different learning paths, certain personalities are a better fit, limited time mem uh, memory. So we talked about AI emulating a human. What about AI emulating a society? The way we've developed over millennia. We've developed as a body of experts and we hope that the person, the leadership, is going to synchronize and get this body to be moving in the right direction. So what you need is an AI supervisor that will activate all of these different AI specialists. But the training for the supervisor is having to handle tasks and synchronize. Whereas the AI agents are specialized in each and every specific area. You can test and validate each one separately and also the supervisor and call him separately. Like because we have human supervisors. We know what a good supervisor is. We know what a good leader is. So we need to figure out what leadership skills you require with this supervisor, this conductor. So a symphony, and that's the term I'm using here is Semiphony, it's a new term. I registered the domain as well. Semiphony.ai, right? I'm gonna trademark it. Anyway, the idea is symphony of AI. That is, you have an orchestra, and the orchestra, you've got the flute, the clarinets, the uh, violinets. You've got a lot of them. Each of them, different expertise, different capabilities, different people. They all bring their best to their to bear, but they all read from a common sheet of music, and you have a conductor making sure that together the music is synchronized so that we, the public, appreciates the bringing together of the experts. Now, how do you create that conductor is the next step we need to look at, okay? So human society functions best when distributed expertise and individuals develop their strengths interests and dispositions. So we do that, we wanna emulate that. So the specialized AI versus generalized AI. The symphony of AI is harmonious integration of these different techniques. And the composition architecture is a kind of society where specialized agents collaborate via defined protocols or a central orchestra. Now, what are the attributes we're looking for? What would we like to see in a society? Transparency, ethical behavior, as opposed to opacity. We'd want to know what's happening. We don't want there to be some, uh, you know, dark decisioning happening with our lives, right? Because nothing good comes out of that. But when you're in the light, when you're open, when you're transparent, that is where we bring the best out of ourselves. Risk and trustworthiness in this approach. It is bounded, measurable, as opposed to open-ended and unpredictable. Okay, we're playing with our future. We don't want something unpredictable to happen. There are many movies that talk about from uh, Space Odyssey 2000 onwards, right? About the horrors when AI can go wrong. The development philosophy, evolutionary, based on society's division of labor. labor. It adopts this mindset of build, test, certify, and integrate. It allows for an incremental process that is very clear as far as ethics and safety is concerned. Privacy, human dignity. It echoes how society develops complex infrastructure that includes aviation, healthcare, and legal systems. My work is primarily in aviation and healthcare. Now, if I am to compare, okay, this is my summarizing slide, so I'll take a little moment here, between the paradigm I am proposing, the semiphony versus the AGI. Now, we've been developing successful agents for a long time, there's nothing new there. What is new is how do we incorporate all of that versus this big crazy rush towards AGI, okay? I don't think AGI is going to materialize in our lifetime the way they propose it, but can we do better? with AI systems, 
Can we guarantee good performance? Can we guarantee a better healthcare system? Yes, we can definitely do that. So specialized agents versus a general purpose mind. Basically what they want from AGI is a God. A God that is everywhere and does everything for everyone. Well, that's going to be a demon, not a God. Architecture, modular, orchestrated versus this emergent behavior. Emergent, it can emerge into areas where it would be a nightmare for all of us. We've got to be careful, okay? Whereas you want something trusted, verifiable, and guaranteed to give you what you want. In society. Transparency, high, explainable per agent, whereas the AGI has got low transparency and it is a black box system. Ethics, embedded and testable per domain. I want to make sure that as we move forward with this new technology, we don't leave anybody behind. We are fair to everyone that the benefits of the technology are not just for some majority group. Why? Because the learning system was based on that majority. Why? It was easy to learn from that data. That data was acquired, easy to access. So if we're looking at who's the best uh, CEO of a company, and we go back 300 years, why? We learn from history, and we figure out that those attributes that made successful CEOs, we end up with white males. Does that do justice to all of the applicants? Hell no, it does not. So we've got to be careful with that, right? Risk profile, bounded and controllable. Whereas we could get catastrophe and trustworthiness, it's built into each and every agent. Whereas it is hard to verify with AGI. Now, based on what I'm doing, this is possible. We may not advance so-called as rapidly as what the other group thinks they can do. But in our small little steps, we will make a difference. We will create a better society. And that is the world I want my kids to live in. So, to summarize this talk, AI should complement, not replace, human specialization, okay? Trustworthy AI requires transparency, validation, and explainability, okay? Mission-critical systems, safety-critical systems demand modular, verifiable intelligence, not black boxes. Semiphony is an ethical, orchestrated ecosystem of specialized AI agents. Progress lies in this harmonized integration. Bring the best out of all of us. In that world, my friends, let us go and create something beautiful. Thank you very much.